I figured I saw all five together, let's get the bot shrine. And then Tyrande actually zoned me out of that and led to my death. But even if that happened, Oh, we kept inching forward, and then right before I'm back, they fight. Maybe I made more mistakes than everyone else, I don't know. But as an observer, when you're dead, it's so frustrating to see them just inch forward and forward. Now, let's see what you guys voted for me. Rexar Murky. Blah. I don't know about that. Garden of Terror, you know, I'm going to ignore the vote this realm because I never meant to start a vote. It was from last night's stream. I, n I forgot to turn off the stream. I mean, I forgot to turn off the vote. I will so thanks to everyone who voted breath. Rexar Murky. <laughs> but I'm not really serious about wanting to play those. Rigged? Come on. I want my money back! <laughs> I don't see any value here for Murky. Is he gonna play Uther? Then I'm a warrior. Then I'm a warrior. And what do we take? I'll take Muradin. Ready for action. You're an excellent streamer watching since early StarCraft 2. I follow a lot of streams, but yours is always enjoyable. Every day your streaming is fine. Never let down. Keep up the good work. Well, that sounds like too much compliments. I think. But I really appreciate you thinking so. XPL. DNG. MN. 102EU. Interesting name, by the way. Are here with the hearts your best heroes? Yes. But I haven't updated in it in a while. Let me see. It might require some updates. Why are you playing Running with Chat voted Rexar? The vote was a mistake. Sorry. I never meant to start a vote. It was on since yesterday. Uh, so in the recent times. In Hero League, here is my win rates. Let me show you. Hold on. I can show you fast. These are my best heroes recently. So in theory, I should put Gazlo, Jaina, Lily, Malf, Nova, Regar as hearts. But they have so few games played. That it's actually Brightwing, Nazebo, Uther 
that perform well. More about this next time on What Are Grubby's Best Heroes? Recently in the last 60 days in Hero League. I will get what? I will get reverberation. Gazlo pretty OP confirmed, yes. I hate those five man mid clashes so much. They're so pointless. And more often than not, they get you in some serious trouble. Now Thrall is isolated at the bottom, I can go mid, and this is going to be a much better fight. All because I left Thrall at the bottom, because I start wave clearing faster at the bottom, which gave us rotational advantage. All because we didn't do a done 5v5 fight. Oops. That's a really short lasting stun. Don't you want some globes, Aether? Damn. He didn't want his globes. There was two wizards there. Greetings, friend. This is uh Quite a different breed of Uther than I am. Let's do this. I thank you. Forgot to mention your humbleness. <laughs> well done. Oh. Now you're just making me shy, XPL. Thank you very much. Let's do That's this. two kills on Regar, nice. Baby, baby, baby! Ho, ho, ho! I ought to just jump in and show him a thing or two about Kazmodan. Let's get it on. And thank you for subbing for the fun. Oh, oh, oh! What? Ah! I think Liming Star Princess is a very pretty skin, but. It's much easier to see her missiles and her orbs. So I think competitively it's a weak skin. It's hammer time. Look at that. They're very big those magic missiles. I guess you could argue they provide clutter. Which distracts the enemy team. But I don't think so. That resistant though. Nice. Yeah, it's time. Nice uh, team play so far. So everyone is saying I have a dark screen. I'm gonna have to get to the bottom of this. I have no idea why. It's not my doing. Nine gems. Uther's thinking of giving his life for it. For the swarm. And he got it. Choice paralysis. Who to kill? There's so many valid targets. Oh, ho, ho, Uther, beautiful. Nice. Well, time to advance in 
I'll take it. Uh, I'll go mid. I think Thrall has too much deep pushing power on the plant. Actually, Anubarak too. But mid is okay. It happened when I restarted yesterday, AG Day. Oh, good point. No, it's been happening for a few days. That's not it, AG Day. Really nice uh, problem solving, though. They are just trying to troll you. My game and your screen have about the same brightness. Okay. So it's some kind of new new kids joke. Thank you, Fnictor. But let's say if it's not a troll, I still need to figure it out. Because generally it's very rare to get trolled that hard for that long. Because it's not the first. Maybe I'm just extra gullible today. Avatar. Beautiful. Now, that's a gust I can get behind. Would you ever go Haymaker? Um, yes. Against Lieutenant Morales, possibly. But you know what? I would go Haymaker, definitely for fun, though it'll be very hard to argue viability, I think. Like, it's 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 fun, it's low cooldown, it's good damage, it's good displacement, and yet... Look at the recent build, this, the popular build right now, healing static, it's a percentage-based heal. So Avatar, which gives you around 2000 HP, is uh, percentually even more relevant. Oh, that was crazy. Avatar makes your healing static heal for so much more. Can we see Nova build? It's the same every time. WWW at 113.16. Sometimes he gets perfect shot. Very sometimes Snipe Master. But I'll show you. Long shot, rapid, and one in the chamber. Man, it says rapid projection. I thought it said rapid injection for a second. Weird. You can do sick DPS with or without Haymaker. It's not Haymaker that makes the damage. In fact, I think Avatar will do more damage. I thank you. Okay. Two friends talk to each other. One asks the other, if your wife is coming, does she screams like crazy too? The other, no, my wife has keys. I don't get it. I'm glad I don't get it, I guess. Did you guys see the new not unstoppable jump? I jumped. I leave them in the cocoon, it's safer that way. Anyway, I jumped and I got impaled and it cancelled me out of it. Oh, 
Damn it, Li Ming. Ah. And meanwhile, the plant was still pushing. I am not safe here. I like how this Uther is always guarding that siege camp. It's like, this siege camp is the key to victory. It's like the second time I see him zoning there. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just funny. It's like... It's like, ha ha ha, funny. Let's go get some mana. I try to offer suggestions in Hero League for general do's and don'ts, but most of the times players take this as an insult and do the same mistakes over and over. Any suggestions? Yeah, generally when you write more than five words, people will start getting real sensitive. So don't write too much. And cut away 80% of your well-intentioned advice, because not everyone queues up to Hero League thinking... How do I get better today? Many people just think I want to win today. Or I want to have some fun or relax. So while you may think that everyone is endeavoring to be the best possible version of themselves that they can be as a player. And completely open for feedback because that's how you get better etc. You can't assume it Bergstrom. So while your advice comes from a good place. I would say cut away 80% of the well intentioned chatter that gives advice. Because that's how I started in Heroes 2, I have to admit. And give the most valuable 20%. The most random gust of my life. It was a complete disengage. But it's fine. He has no more burrow. What? I'll go heavy impact. Because these days we're always going to jump in. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Heavy impact value. Heavy impact value. <laughs> so much value. Well done. So much heavy impact value. So uh, they're gonna have two dead still. Can heavy impact interrupt Marsh? Yep. It can. Uh, the new dwarf does actually, I'm not sure. Ooh, actually, it may have changed. Nice Nova zoning. They have to choose contest the plant or contest me. So we secure two forts this way because they had to choose. And we get all the seeds. I think it's nice movement. The Haka by himself again. I still got 24 seconds. So if they're actually all gonna fight top, they will not have me. Uh, they will not have uh, defense on their mid. Out of my way! Oh, hello. No, oh, should have been slightly faster with the jump. Then we could have chunked him. Heavy impact. <laughs> it's so cool. 
In case people don't know what I'm talking about, look at this. 0.75 seconds stun if you jump on them. Did you just kind of push through me or not? Heavy impact! <laughs> Holy shit! The most value I've ever had out of it! Oh, ouch! Ouch! I'm fine. I'm gonna go rewind. We should capture this mercenary camp. If uh, if you if you und on EDC while his brief precast animation. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because the new dwarf toss. Ah, uh, it's on interrupts only if he's over ETC when he mushes. He drops down, but it still stuns where he lands. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't. I can't say I understand exactly what you guys are talking about, but. I didn't realize we had a second one. Oh. Okay. Uther loves that camp. Yeah. Look at my damage. What? Well, I was in plant. Doesn't doesn't count. You need about six seconds from the core. <laughs> Welcome to the stun meta. All from one single hero. I feel like I could take on the world. Jeez. Well, there are other stuns, but still. Nice, Meridian. Do you like Gul'dan? He's, uh, he's alright. He's neither my favorite nor my most hated. And I also think he's neither strong nor weak. Discuss build? I would love to, mate. Uh, moment. Discussing build. Um, yeah. So, generally, the standard build, okay? No deviations. Reverb, Thunderburn, Ironforged, Avatar, Healing Static. This is the basis of your disruption and your self-sustain. It makes you a true warrior. Peel. Enemy damage mitigation. Well, damage reduction. Uh, survivability. Tankiness. You know, everything. So this is attack speed reduction. It's great against auto attackers, but it's even great against anyone with battle momentum, even if they are not a dedicated auto attacker. For example, uh, Diablo. He's not really known for his auto damage, but he does get diabolical momentum. So it messes with it, right? Thrall is a great target for reverb. Rhaegar is completely unimportant because he mostly crits. The Haka is whatever, Li Ming is whatever. Uh, Anub is okay as an auto attacker, especially when he has locust needles, the auto attack talent. But mostly, my job was to just keep Thrall in check and also try to block shots from Li Ming. Anyway, WW, more Ws thanks to this, and then all of them heal yourself, percentage based, which makes Avatar more attractive. You get more healing. 5% on your base HP with a bonus 2k is something like 7%. Of your base normal HP. So it's really cool. You get so many of it. The second one also counts for healing static. The, the Thunderburn zone. It also counts for the attack speed slow. Although it doesn't specifically say so. But it's true. Then at 16 you've got three choices. Either heavy impact to get the small stun. Or you can get give him the axe. Which is a better version of uh, executioner. On a hero that nonetheless only has one attack per second. So... He's not a hero that fits the Executioner bill normally, but because he has so much CC himself, you absolutely 100% have 100% uptime for your Executioner. That means that all your auto attacks are hitting for 260 to 350 damage, depending on what time in the game it is, what level you are. 
So, uh, given the axe is great, and it's even okay to do it as a solo warrior. But you'll definitely usually do that as a second warrior. I could have done it here, but I feel like we have enough kill power with what we have. So I just decided to allow the setup for my team to happen more easily with the stun. So Nova, Falstad, Kelthas, they can get the kills. And then finally, Rewind. It's also okay to go hard and shield, and also okay to go stone form at 16 if you require more survivability. JPL did this once for Team Dignitas in the final game, because he was dying, even at level 8 or at level 12. So you, then you are absolutely monstrous. You take all this and you add stone form and hard and shield, unless you misuse it heavily, it's just crazy. Stone form used to be the talent at 16 that we would take, but it got nerfed 10%. Well, it got nerfed 20%, but 10% less HP from it. And it got replaced by this new, hot, sexy build, Healing Static with Battle Momentum. And that's because this one is a buff from the old Battle Momentum, and this is a buff from the old Healing Static. And that is why. The only thing we're not sure about now for Murden is, how is he affected by the resistant on his Dwarf Toss that is not unstoppable anymore? But so far, he felt fine to me. Just like when they removed his mini stuns from Murden's avatar, people were crying doom and gloom, but I think he's fine. Oh! They have nice HP, these turrets. Had a game today where we won the first Immortal with 5 HP left. Holy damn, semi-neutral. Thank you, Ryer. <laughs> Give him the clamps. 